Yeah. So let's, yeah, let's move forward a little bit. The launch of How We Get to the New Age Outlaw starts on Raw is War, March 31st from Peoria, Illinois. Honky Tonk Man coming into the ring with you, talking about how he's offering you the opportunity to go with him. We could take a listen right here. Okay. Mission. Everyone knows that. And I have never seen anything in my life like the thousands of cards and letters the Honky Tonk Man has had for me to hurry up and make my decision on who I think will be the greatest of all time. Well, it has been a while. Watch my facials. I'm impressed with you. Can you imagine what the Honky Tonk Man can do with you following me through the airport toting this nice guitar? Can you imagine how the Honky Tonk Man can take your career all the way to the top? Just imagine, man. <laughs> can you imagine what you'd look like with some jet black hair? I can even help you grow some sideburns. Amazing oh, no. stuff. You need some too, man. Look, I was flattered. <laughs> I, I just can't look at how young you are, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy to me. You got like a little bit of a of a Seth Rogen meets Mark Zuckerberg look in your youthful face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, this is it, man. This guitar of mine has been in my, my brother used to say I look like uh, Justin Timberlake when he when he was young. Absolutely. And I'm going to present it to you. I've never given one to anybody. I've played a lot of tunes with it. And Jesse James, I want you to have it. Hey, watch when I bust this guitar, something hits me right in the forehead. And, I, and you can see me check my forehead a couple of times. Unbelievable. There's the man. We're seeing him, man. A star. How do you want to do that, Honky Tonk? This is an emotional night. I'm teared up again. Flawler is the best. I mean, this is just <laughs> awesome in the ring with Honky right now. Yeah. And dude, I'm. To be perfectly honest, I'm breathless. I'm two years in the business. Honky Tonk Man, the world's greatest intercontinental title holder ever. Yes. And for you, I know how much this guitar means to you. This is music history. I'm holding in my hand. I realize that. I don't know if everybody else does. Music history in my hand. <laughs> they want this guitar to country music hall of fame. They want Hamburger <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> they want this thing put in a glass cage. That's how important it is. Do you want it? I, when I watched this, I thought the timing guy had to be crap in his pants. Like, honestly, I, I don't know what to say right now, but I think I know what to do. <laughs> Warming it up. I was tuning it. Tuning it. Oh. it's a little out of tune for me <laughs> it gets a good reaction right there yeah, so that's gonna yeah. make you feel great yeah you know what though that's just honky's heat it was like it could have been uh it could have been anybody you know what i mean like it, it could have been uh i don't know I don't know. I, I, you know, the promo was good, good. It was delivered well. Um, his part was he's honky tonk man. You know what I mean? So he's classic. How does this idea come together with you and honky? You know, I, I really don't know a, a lot about the creative stuff. I know about, I can speak about personal stuff or how I reacted or have responded to it, but, but I don't know how it started, but it kind of, the more I thought about it, it makes perfect sense, right? Like I was the singing cowboy. He was the greatest intercontinental champion ever that shake, rattle and roll. And it was the old rock, you know, rock, rockabilly kind of thing. Like that's why we all kind of fit together. Once they made him rockabilly with him, it was almost like they had to put him in a, in a, uh, you know, storyline with me, yeah. little as it may be, or or underneath as it may have been, uh, it felt like we just all felt right together. You know what I mean?